Hey, what's up, guys? How are you? Welcome back. It's me, Hebot, your action figure enthusiast and video game aficionado. And I'm coming back at you with another episode of Toys in My Closet. And as you can see here in front of me, today I will be reviewing and unboxing the brand new vehicle pack of the G.I. Joe Classified series, Baroness with Cobra Coil from the Cobra Island Special Missions series, which is actually a Target exclusive. And this piece here has become a big hot commodity at the moment. And it's very difficult to get anything from the Cobra Island as far as uh, the Target exclusive figures go, especially the Cobra Troopers. Beachhead, obviously, and even uh, to a certain degree the um, uh, Roblox then in his second disguise now I want to say before I go any further that like I said in my previous review with that I did for the He-Man's origin that in the gaming community just like the figure community um, there's a lot of people that are basically every man for themselves right the figure community is not a camaraderie type of thing anymore because now it's uh you know a business not just for the stores you know themselves but for people because of places like you know youtube macari you know uh, uh offer up ebay amazon People are just buying stuff that they see that is trending and is popular to sell. And then when they sell it, they don't sell it being realistic about it, being fair, being just, and trying to make a decent amount of money for themselves without really being arrogant or what we would call prick about the situation. You know, there's nothing wrong with trying to make a dollar, especially if you go out your way to get up early and try to go and get the stuff and you know uh, and do the hunting back and forth but remember that you're not the only one doing it the collectors out there are doing it themselves as well they're just not doing it to a crazy uh, mindless you know degree where that's all they do 24 7 and you know uh, they do nothing else because you know people have lives and um, they have to prioritize maybe some people don't care about prioritizing or they find a way to fit it in whatever the case may be so you know i have to be very grateful and thankful that where i've been through these situations and how i've been through them that at least i've been lucky enough to run in to people that are genuinely pretty much classy and and, and 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 genuine right i got this here because of a great great person that i met to one of the facebook groups i believe it was the gi joe facebook group itself where he had posted that he found some for himself and that you know they had some other ones and you know i just basically hit him up and said listen do you think you can get me one? If you can, I understand. But if you do, I'll be very grateful. Um, and I did it with some other people too as well. But they were connected with other people and the price was just too high. And so I said, you know, just I'll give you a, give me a fair price. And if you do, I, I'll, you know, I'll take care of you. And I understand. But because where I am is I can't find them. It's a nightmare. So he said, OK, let me check. Let me call my wife. And him and his wife went the extra mile for me to do a favor that they didn't have to. He went 40 minutes away from his where he lives to actually pick this up for me. And I can't be say and show how grateful I am for that. And he was kind enough to throw in some extra stuff that I didn't have and give it to me at a nice price, shipped. And sent to me not being greedy not being overzealous 
not being selfish, just genuine. Like, listen, dude, just the shipping, the cost, and throw in something for gas since I had to go kind of far out. And I, you know, you can't ask for anything else. It's as fair as it's gonna get. And I really am thankful for him and his amazing wife because any wife that helps out a husband in that way for someone else, not just for them, just knows, just is a sign that that woman must be an amazing woman. So big thanks to Carlos Vasquez and his wife. Without them, I would have never gotten my hands on it. And to be honest, just two days later, I went to visit a friend and I found two more. So I paid it forward and I got one for my buddy, Jorge. And then what I did was I got the other one and sold it on Macari. And I didn't sell it for a crazy price, sold it for a fair price. And I believe in like five, 10 minutes, it was sold. And it was great because I was able to help someone else because he told me, I can't really go out and hunt. And you just did me a big favor, not only by giving me a great price, but by selling her, you know, thank you. And, you know, you already got her. You know, he, he sent me the message today. He was ecstatic. He was happy. And, and it, it was, it's just, I tried to do the same that Carlos and his wife did for me. And it happened in a, in a matter of like two days. So here is the Baroness. Here's the Cobra Coil. Baroness is in the motif of her original look in complete black. More than likely, she will be released in future single carded packs with accents of gold like she is in the picture in the back of the single carded backs of wave one and two but this is the baroness that most people that are joe fans love and adore the all black with the gray accents with the red cobra symbols and the bike looks pretty nice it doesn't look terrible maybe a little toyetic but that's okay because it's supposed to be appealing not just for the collectors but for children as well and i've seen a lot of guys collecting with their kids and really enjoying the line just like i've seen with He-Man Origins. So, this is the window box opening. A nice, beautiful little artwork in the front there of her riding the bike. This special spray poison staff of a cobra that she has with silver and, uh, you know, gold. And it has the G.I. Joe logo on top with the cobra symbol in the corner. And she is the number 13 in the wave. You see that it says Cobra Island there in the corner. Hasbro on the other corner. I'll turn it around. This is the map in its entirety in the back that you see in the single cards. And then these are the district and sections, I guess, from the island. And this is probably something that they're going to tackle in the game because the designs of these guys are so far what you saw in the trailer for the game, which I would not be surprised it takes place on Cobra Island. Uh, and of course, maybe even in the new Snake Eyes movies, they'll re re reference it at some point. On the side, it has the actual, um, you know, tiles of decoding of what she specializes in. And then on this side, they have a really nice artwork of her, as you can see, looking really, really really nice so let's get her out of packaging without further ado and take her out and release her from her prison and do what all toy collectors should do you know break out their toys and play with them and enjoy them and see what she has to offer as a figure and with the vehicle that she comes with so sit back relax i hope you enjoy the review and i hope you Stay along for the ride. I'll see you in a blink of an eye. So here we have a closer look at Baroness. And as you can see, first glance, she looks absolutely beautiful. And I decided to use the background insert of inside the packaging. Because if you notice, I'll take Baroness out and show you guys. They have a wonderful artwork in white showing the pterodrome and the uh, i forget what that little um ship was called coming out of it with hydrofoils on the side 
um, and it looks like a realistic 3D graphic background with ravens in, in the top and, and, and rattlers in the other. T on one corner over here, you probably can't see it, and on the other corner, ravens. So let's take a look at closer look at Baroness. And as you're going to see right here, her face is absolutely sculpted beautifully with the beautiful photoreal eyes looks of the technology, the luscious look of the lips or on the lips as you can see I hope it's not coming in too blurry let me see there we go as you can see perfectly black frame glasses with the hint of gold she has like a little little overspray right there on that corner there which i pre probably take out with a needle that's not a big deal the lips are painted really really nicely as you can see with a nice soft red the hair is completely black a nice satin black um i think she has highlight of purple would have been a little nice touch but it's okay then you see the marmor on her where in her breast area she has that nice armor with the cobra symbol and the cobra symbol as you can see i have a little overspray on top but as you can see it's not a sticker it actually and it's not flushed it actually is molded in alongside all the detailing she has cobra you know uh, heads in her shoulder and one pad the other pad is just some lines and you see her neck collar is like a turtleneck it looks like she got snake skin body armor underneath with some grays and black highlights she has the wonderful belt with the cobra symbol and nice satin with some black matte finishing in there which looks really really good as you can see right there this is a little piece of plastic it looks like missing there not too bad which actually is the holsters for her guns if you turn the head that way you can see she has the detail in the back um she has the four forearm guards with cobra symbols on each also sculpted not painted the matte on the gloves the gray in her stomach area on the side as well in her you know um crotch area you see there is the matte black with the grays coming across and then obviously over here you see also her uh, piece is a separate piece for her knife to hold her has some little paint blemishes there that are covering or that were scratched so i'll probably have to paint over it with black and then the boots that look like stiletto boots come from all the way above on her thighs all the way down her knees all the way down to the bottom of her feet and they have that nice scaly design and then her boots with the pointy tips and then the gold belt buckle in each ankle and again um she just looks very og very vintage with the modern take and design on her suit uh, i think she looks absolutely stunning um a lot of people may not like that you know her lips she make her look a little bit more serious but she is a little bit older looking she looks like a hot school teacher or something you know she's really really beautiful i like her i like her a lot so that's you know all for as far her as her you know design and what she has but she's really really nicely detailed so moving right along i'm gonna do this one a little differently since we've got to look at the bike as well we're gonna just just jump right in and show you the accessories that she comes with and in these accessories you see there, that's a Cobra 
uh, you know, design type of, of weapon that goes around her arm. And if you look at it, it has like a little spray in the front, which I'm pretty sure sprays poison to probably put people to sleep when they want to capture people. It's done in a really nice gunmetal silver with the actual yellow gold on the side and on the fins of the Cobra. Really nicely detailed, really nice design, really intricate. And then the guns, um, you know, because she is a bling, she likes to be a blinged out type of character. She's very, she, you know, she's all about the money and looking good and stylish. She has the gold guns in gold, which look really nicely done. And that gold metallic paint, really nicely done, like really nice. They look nice. And they fit her well with the accents of gold with the black. Looks terrific. Then we have the motorcycle helmet that you can see has a lot of detail on it. It's black. And it basically looks like fangs there. I don't know how well you can see it, but it basically looks like fangs right there. I'm going to see if I paint those fangs in red uh, to make it stand out more. And then you see the face there at the top. A lot of people say it looks like a Power Ranger helmet. I guess I can see that, but I, you know, being that it has the fangs and stuff, I see it as a Cobra design, which is really nice. Too bad it, it can't go over a head, which would I think would have been cool. Yeah, actually, it's a headpiece. It acts like another head, and you just switch it out. And then lastly but not least we have her knife or rather her her cobra dagger in that nice matte black and if you look the dagger the tip of it looks like a snake going through just like the hill is uh supposed to be a cobra standing up this is supposed to be like the vertebrae area of the snake, which is the handle. And it's in gold and black, which is also very, very nice. So the, the accessory I see comes pretty nicely stacked. And the best part about it is she can actually house them in all over her body. And there's somewhere to store them completely. And you don't have to worry about anything lingering. So, I think she looks fantastic. Now, let's take a closer look at, you know, her bike. Now, here we have the Cobra Coil. Now, a lot of people are seeing them complaining, saying, oh, because this is not a new, traditional, familiar vehicle that, you know, is part of, like, the vintage stuff or the three and three quarter stuff from back in the day. But G.I. Joe has always in every single line, even the three, four, three and three quarter line, through the years, 40th anniversary, Pursuit of Cobra, 25th anniversary, always introduced new vehicles some way, shape or form, the movie stuff, you know, so forth and so forth. So it doesn't really bother me. I see this as a brand new motorcycle in the, Co in, you know, the G.I. Joe universe, uh, you know, with Sigma 6, uh, you know, it res re uh, resolutes all those, you know, factions of, of G.I. Joe that became, you know, uh, figures and, and, and toy lines. So let's take a closer look at the bike. And the bike is done really well. Has a lot of nice paint applications, as you can see. It's in a nice shiny black plastic with the tires in a nice black with a little bit of rubbery feel to them with the reds in the back here by the area that is the brake pads with the black interior design. It comes with the kickstand, which is in a nice matte black finish. And it has like a, a feel to it that feels like kind of like make you feel more realistic, I guess. And more quality, the red in the bottom where you house your feet. You see the pegs there, the silver in the engine area showing in these places with the chassis area nice cobra symbol tampoed on with the gauges all painted in green with some detail then another tampon cobra on the side a silhouette of the green here you know area that turns into white 
And at first I was like, what is this supposed to be? And I guess, being that I see the gauges in green, this is supposed to be the reflection of the green light gauges inside on the other side of the bike that is kind of reflecting through the mirror and you see it inside. That's what it's supposed to be. Then you have the nice looking lights there with the silver you know, detail and then the black outlining. And then in the front, you know, the cover for the tire. And then you have the, you know, these nice, wonderful detail that says number one there. Uh, you know, and it has some articulation. It moves here. And then the, the, the axle canopy in the front, it moves. The, you know, handlebar area moves really nicely and then obviously the kickstand and then the tires so you got some type of movement and it's really nice and so it comes with these two guns which i think i'm going to paint some of the parts here in silver to make them look more to just to they can pop out a little bit more i don't think i'll ever use them with her um because they have these big pegs i like the idea that they just go on the bike I think it's badass and I think it's cool that you could actually take them out and use them with her also but I don't think I would do that uh, I think I'm just gonna leave them on the bike and then obviously the other piece which is for the handlebar which a lot of people are saying they're afraid to put it on um, I know it's a harder plastic but I think it's just I tried it with my friend Jorge's and it went in with no problem you just kind of have to keep on boop, and it pops right in you wedge it in, giving it a little nudge while you're going in circle, circular motion. And you won't have to worry about warming it up or any breakage. It's really that simple. And it's nice and tight once it's in, so you don't have to worry about popping it back out. Now, if you want to pop it out for whatever reason, then I would suggest to use hot water because you don't want to break it. But it's designed to you pop it. It goes in real easy. I've seen a lot of people like, oh, that's too hard. Then these go in on the side. They peg right, peg in right in this hole right there, which is cool. So you put them on, boom, boom. Then you put it on here on this side, boom, boom. And there you go. This is how they look on it. I think it looks badass, to be honest with you. And you could use this with any other Cobra character, like Destro or even, you know, uh, I don't know, the Red Ninjas. I think it'll go, it'll look good. So. Now let's take a look at our Baroness articulation. Now for our articulation, let's check it out. So we already know it's going to be hard to move her head because of the fact that her head has long hair, but this is very, very soft and very pliable. So her head has a ball peg in the neck area which moves independently. I don't know if you can see that. And one that goes into the actual head itself. So she has, you know, till, which is very good. Very nice till, as you can see. She does left and right. She looks down really, really good. And then to look up, you would have to kind of move the head a little bit back and then move it back like so. And she looks back just slightly, just just ever so slightly. Now, her arms have the butterfly little uh, joint there. They go, her shoulders go up that much. And they do the full rotation. The pad again, just like you saw, uh, you'll see with the Storm Shadow from Amazon Exclusive. It's independent. That means it's pegged in the inside of the peg of the arm with the butterfly joint. So it no longer gets in the way. You can move it and doesn't intrude, which is a nice new engineering. The fact that this doesn't have a cut, I think it's to preserve the scope. You don't have, she doesn't have a bicep cut, but she does have a joint cut in her elbows. And her elbow is single. It goes up pretty well though like more at least 90 but it's a single it's okay you know it still looks good or you know she has the 
rotation on the hand and the hand goes by the wrist goes up and down like so then oops sorry then she has a cut up here in the underneath the press in the torso area which allows her to move she has the you know nice side to side okay then she does front just that much back about that much then in the waist area she has another ball joint that gives you the waist swivel and you could also do the tilting side to side even more because you're using both the joints and then you can do it on this side so her range of motion is really really well done then if you move it forward now she can move forward while leaving this she can move forward this much and she can move backwards that much which is a really good amount of range okay and then as far as the legs she has the obvious swivel there on the thigh and then she can do almost a full Van Damme split and the joints do go up and down like all the Joe so far and that's for the kicking motion you can you can kick forward already a lot as it is as you can see I believe if you drop it down she goes even higher you see and she's it's cool because she's very acrobatic as well she's supposed to be a martial arts expert also and a gun specialist moves back very well then she has a double jointed knee even though she has the pad there it doesn't go up a lot but it's because of the stiletto style boots and then in the actual foot and leg it goes forward that much back all the way no toe pivot and of course the rocker and no boot cut but she does have this whole thigh swivel there so as for articulation she is excellent she is really good so aesthetically she looks fantastic now let's put her weapons on her because that's what we all want to see anyway so here we go so we're going to bring in her guns which she can hold very well in her hands as you can see you can hold them very well very very well Do it side like that and pose her and you can see so i mean it looks great oh she's a little bit hard to stand because of the her feet design of her, her feet but the best part is we can host house these weapons on her right here right in the back one there there and we can house one right here so this looks really badassery this making it look even better and better every time then for her knife or dagger it goes on her thigh you just go here you see the design goes that way you match it like this and you slide it in and so that's put that way or you see you know some people might, might want to put it this way so that you can see it from it facing forward that she looks great i love that you can house her weapons and then obviously in her hand you can put this the snake here like she's gonna spray somebody she's controlling this mechanical looking snake to spray people which I think it's a cool weapon. I mean, some people think it's, it's corny, but I think it looks cool. Something modern, technology, you know. 
a snake looking sleeping machine then what I would probably do with this is I would probably try to put it where she can hold it like so in her hand you know like she like she's not wearing it in other words sorry ladies you know what? bear with me um oh boy like she's holding it in her hand because she just got off the bike for example as an example she's holding it in her hand ah, it came off again <laughs> love it when figures cooperate especially in the middle of you trying to review the thing it's amazing and then you know I'll put it like that and then we'll put this like this back in her thing and, and there she is like there there is Baroness with all of her accessories uh, and you know ready to go there is she and she looks fantastic so now let's put her in the bike so here we have her on the bike and quite frankly I think she looks really really good on the bike I don't really feel that there's no need there's a need to actually put on the helmet because it takes away from the sculpt obviously and, and the appeal I think she looks it looks much better this way uh, in my opinion um, but obviously you gotta you know put the bike because it's supposed to be for safety measures and there is the uh, her the way she looks on the other side I kind of just put her facing this way her face facing this way holding on to the you know the snake gas dispenser or whatever you want to call it um I'm pretty sure we're gonna know what this is in the video game they'll probably show it and talk about it or in the movie or or in a new cartoon if they do one we're gonna find out eventually we're gonna see that again I have a feeling so it looks really 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 nice and it rolls really well especially if you put up a kickstand like so you you see that she rolls she can do a wheelie it's awesome it looks good man it really looks good like you can put it on the tilt like that it looks good man it looks good yeah I know it's not a familiar vehicle but it's a new vehicle in the G.I. Joe universe and I think uh, it works um let me see if I can somehow take this off while she's on the bike take her head off probably not work out oh the peg is kind of big just so you guys can see what she looks like with the helmet there she goes with the helmet um yeah let's see uh Oh man, it's a little tricky to put in because you gotta fly on her feet as you put them up on both sides. Um, and it's a little hard to do. It's not really an easy thing, even though it should be. But it's not easy. And it's not an easy thing. And then the thing is, um, also that I want to point out is that she, in this bike, has the flaps there where she can put her feet there, which looks cool. But she doesn't have uh, the pegs there so it's not like you can peg them in uh, in the back or if you wanted to put another person in the back riding her you can't really peg it in either so I, th I think that was kind of like uh, something maybe Hasbro overlooked and didn't see so they didn't put it on but yeah that's that's what she looks like with you know the helmet on which I think I think still looks cool. Still looks very cool. The all black, but with the uh, uh, painting those fangs red, with that symbol, I think it's gonna make it look uh, and feel a lot better. So now let's do a little comparison, and we'll end the review uh, with my final thoughts. So here she is next to the other lady of GI Joe, Scarlet, and this is what they look like side by side as you can see ladies and gentlemen they look fantastic 
And here she is to her partner in crime. And I believe to a certain extent to her love interest. None other than Destro. And they look really good together. I can only imagine what they'll look with Major Blood, Zartan, Dr. Mindbender, and Cobra Commander in a still shot. I think it's going to look fantastic. And I do have Cobra Commander. I will be reviewing him. And here I have her next to the 25th anniversary banner, Baroness, which is still one of the old, my older um, three and a half quarter figure that I have, which is the one that came with the package where they were all together with a piece of the weather machine from the Weather Dominator, I think it was called, from one of the episodes. And then this is Baroness, which was very, very different. She had more of an Asian look too, even. Um, and more stylized from the, uh, um, she has like the same stiletto style boots from G.I. Joe Resolute. Uh, but there's one more I want to compare it to, uh, that I haven't, because I haven't gotten a chance to open her, but well, I'm going to open her right here so you guys can see, and that is the brand new vintage Walmart exclusive to Baroness, which she is supposed to be from the 40th anniversary two pack that came with Lady J. I love that card art as well. And I love that in the back it has the cross cell and her bio. So I'm going to take this one out of packaging and compare her with her as well. So here they are the two newest Baroness for 2020. And the new Baroness is cool, but she has a way too many weapons. And honestly, nowhere really to store them. So I don't like that, but her face is pretty cool. The tempo, you know, symbol is really good. Looks really nice with the uh, gloves and the gray. Very inspired by this Baroness, I believe. Uh, you can say that, you know, this Baroness here are very inspired with each other. So, now let's wrap up the review. So here you have her, guys, Baroness with the Cobra Coil. I mean, oops, wait, mistake, sneak preview, guys, sorry. Here we have Baroness with the Cobra Coil. And, you know, I got to say, it's a very fun two-pack. And I think it's incredible. And I think it's worth every penny. Um, it's $39.99 retail price, about $43 with tax. Um, if you get it in the market and out there and you're hunting and you're lucky enough to get it, um, you know, I wish you a lot of luck. I think it's great. I hope you do. Uh, because paying extra for her um, shouldn't be, you know, the norm. But unfortunately due to shortage and covid and scalpers being the way they are these things are not easy to track and even online with people using bots to purchase stuff and it's almost impossible to get your hands on stuff when it's available as well um hopefully target will keep doing run-ons of these of all the cobra island and hopefully hasbro will maybe at least in the case of the Cobra Troopers, make them available through Hasbro Post in the two pack at some point, which I think would be the smart thing to do because at this point, um, I just see too much people making profit and not really caring about helping each other out. So, there you have it, guys. That's my review, and that's my outlook on the uh, G.I. Joe classified series. Baroness and Cobra Coil motorcycle from the Cobra Island, uh, you know, uh, series from Hasbro, and it's obviously the Target exclusive. And real quick, this was the other extra item that my boy Carlos hooked me up with. He hooked me up with an Ultimate Cobra Commander, complete with exception of one of the big goofy guns which I don't care about gave it to me at a really nice cost which I never had them 
and you know thank you again for him for doing that because now I have him in my collection and he's awesome and I didn't have to pay retarded prices as well so good looking out my brother Carlos there you have it guys there's my review I hope you guys enjoyed it give me a thumbs up if you liked it give me a thumbs down if you didn't like it let me know down in the comments below what you think of her if you're excited if you want to get her if you get your hands on her already or if you think she's just a pile of crap and don't want to get her at all either way I'll try to answer as much as I can also remember share this video with someone you think might like it if you knew my channel thank you and welcome and I appreciate you stopping by and if you subscribe I really appreciate it because I know you don't have to but if you did remember I consider you now part of my familia so which is a great thing now for those of you that ever want to in any way shape or form help me out you know how to, you can do it it's all down in the description below uh, because I pretty much fund everything myself I'm never given anything really for free uh, like a lot of people out here that are smaller um, you know but you know I, I basically pay out of pocket for everything and if you want to donate anything that you might me want me to maybe uh, review or or you want me to look at whether it's video game or figure related just DM me and we'll figure out the particulars and we'll go from there and if you want to follow me on social media and see what I'm up to you can follow me on Instagram uh, under, under C underscore respect and obviously on Twitter you can follow me under he bought he bought powerful gamer and that would be with a capital H lowercase e hyphen in the middle capital B lowercase o and T so there you have it guys I hope you enjoyed she's really fun she's really nice good luck to everyone I think she's worth until the next one this is he bought signing off with another episode of toys in my closet love you guys See you soon.